I was walking under the giant eastern hemlock tree behind my studio at Backyard North in the Great Smoky Mountains in late October 2021 when I made eye contact with our resident male northern cardinal. Cardinals here are usually very skittish, but he stayed still and looked right at me from a branch a few feet above my head for several minutes, which I initially interpreted as perhaps we were advancing our relationship. However, I soon realized I wasn't seeing his usual brown eyes, but dark, swollen eyes. As I tried to get closer for a better look, he flew off. Physically, otherwise, he looked fine. So I checked the stream trail camera back in the deep woods, and sure enough, we can see both of his eyes are swollen in this 4K imagery. I immediately removed the platform tray and finch tube community feeders. The next day he was at the stream and his right eye was quite bad and crusted over. Unfortunately, his left eye was much better and clear. You can see how important water to bathe and drink is to these birds as Mr. Cardinal drank heartily. This was a pretty clear sign of avian conjunctivitis or house finch eye disease, also called mycoplasmal conjunctivitis, where the infected birds often had red, swollen, runny, or crusty eyes. In extreme cases, the eyes are so swollen or crusted over that the birds are virtually blind. This disease is most often seen in finches and pine siskins, but I have never seen a sick cardinal in any manner in any location other than some molding issues which were temporary. It's heartbreaking to see such beloved backyard birds in this condition. You might observe an infected bird sitting quietly in your yard, as I did with Mr. Cardinal, or clumsily scratching an eye against its foot or a perch. While some infected birds recover, many die from starvation, exposure, or predation. You can see Mr. Cardinal rubbing his bad eye on various branches for relief in this video from another camera angle. He's spending a lot of time at the spring to help heal himself and the fresh cold water probably feels good. Other than trying to capture them and working with a certified wildlife rehabber, which is generally not too realistic, the only thing to be done is to provide food, water, and safety without infecting the other birds. The fresh spring water and dense cover from predators was no problem. Nature provided that. And I'll discuss a safer dispersed feeding method to avoid spreading sickness while also helping sick birds later. I'll put links to the Cornell Lab Feeder Watch info on sick birds in the description below. Unfortunately, the disease had already spread to the female cardinal partner, and this is her story the next day along with my real-time narration. The documentation of this event also illustrates the importance of trail cameras in monitoring your backyard bird's health and learning more about their habits. A little bit surprised to see Mrs. Cardinal with an eye problem too. So Mr. and Mrs. Cardinal would hang out together. They've obviously transferred it to each other and the conjunctivitis is, is uh, easily transferable among birds. I'm shooting this through the blinds because I don't want to scare them away, but Mr. Cardinal's noticed him with bad eyes and then now I see Mrs. Cardinal has got really bad, probably conjunctivitis, but there's no other birds. I haven't had a lot of birds around really this fall. I mean, no siskins at all, a small number of finches. See her eye, okay, she turned around now. Mr. Cardinal has got uh, a real bad, I think it was his right eye. He had both eyes were swollen hate to see the cardinals in this kind of situation. And they're the only, I haven't seen a sick bird all year. These are the first, see Mr. and Mrs. Cardinal like this is really pretty shocking. They've both been eating heartily. Can't get a good look at her right eye. I think her right eye is okay.
that left eye is pretty much swollen shut. I have never said I had a left, yeah, the right eye is good, that's good. I've been watching Mr. Cardinal. I haven't seen much of Miss Cardinal. I just had a, this is a new feeder that I just put out. Specifically for Mr. Cardinal, but he hasn't been using it. It's a little tiny feeder that hasn't been used for a couple of years, so it's not going to have any disease in it. Good to see that Mrs. Cardinal find it, but she's eating heartily. I've already suspended feeding of all the other community feeders. This one I just put out just a little while ago, hoping to get a glimpse of... Okay, see, she forces it. She can force it open a little bit and see better. For the most part, it's pretty bad. Actually, Mr. Cardinal's got it. Well, okay, good. She's got one, one fine eye. Now, this is different in Florida. I mean, we, this is a real dense, thick forest, and the odds of uh, catching them are pretty much impossible because it's just they're just living in the tr big trees out here. But to give them plenty of food and water. I'm glad to see that she's got that one good eye. And now the chickadee has found her feeder, so I'm going to have to get rid of even that one. The thing you can do is, you know, you shouldn't feed the birds. When, this is the first I've kind of confirmed this. It's like she's got just a little minor problem on her right eye, but uh, for the most part... Let's focus here. Her right eye is looking pretty good. It's got a little bit of issue. And I saw earlier, Mr. Cardinal had a little bit of puffiness in both eyes. Now just one eye is bad. So you can't catch these cardinals. They live in the forest. It's not like real backyard cardinals down in Florida. And even then it's hard to catch them. Uh, but uh, even this little new feeder that I just put out just, just a few minutes ago, I try and feed the cardinals only right back. I put it right back in the hemlock tree where they tend to hang out. So I've already put away all the community feeders, but this morning I used what they call, kind of what I call dispersed feeding. I took little, oh, thimble, like thimblefuls of size uh, servings of millet. And uh, you go around the backyard and put them in just little places of never, you know, on a rock on a, a branch, on a, st you know, little different places, just sp spread them all around in a dozen different places, just a thimble full of food that are generally never feed on, fed on, so they're not going to have disease transfer. And then the birds will find them, because the last thing I want to do is deprive uh, Mr. and Mrs. Cardinal of any healthy, easy food. And they've both been using the stream quite a bit to clean off, so... I'm kind of hopeful that they'll both be okay. It's very unusual to have just the cardinals be sick, though. I mean, I've got uh, not as many birds as last year. But, you know, the, the resident birds are, you know, doves, goldfinches, blue jays, fair amount of gross beaks passing through. Of course, the cardinals, usually one pair of cardinals is, uh, doesn't put up with other cardinals around for a while. But now her, okay, her left eye is is functioning. It's it's obviously uh, you know and fully involved, but it's not crusted over or anything. So she's getting a little bit of vision on her left eye. You can see it blinking, and her right eye looks good. So this little feeder that I put out for her, I see a chickadee already came to it. So we'll just put even that away. And. Uh, just continue with the dispersed feeding. And really that's the thing, it's just like they were foraging. You just take, well, you can, you can use millet, I usually use millet and black oil sunflower seed. Now the black oil sunflower seed, the, the chipmunks and the squirrels are going to find them, but if you take that and mix it with millet or uh, 
sunflower hearts probably is what I'll do again later today is take a little mixture of sunflower black oil sunflower hearts and uh, white millet and uh, just go around with a little cup of it with a little you know grab like a few fingers full of it and spread it in about oh probably you know two dozen different places all over the backyard on, on branches uh, tree stumps rocks little nooks and crannies places where the birds will always find them and they're going to find it you don't necessarily need a community feeder to yeah he's okay that left eye is is functioning that's good but I think with the inability to capture these birds because of the dense forest environment I mean the backyard is up against you know thousands upon thousands of acres of forest so the birds come and go out of the forest um, if they get plenty of food and uh, water and it looks like they'll probably pull through uh, Usually you see the conjunctivitis in uh, finch-like birds, you know, especially siskins or something like that. But, you know, right now I don't have any siskins at all this year. And really not that many birds have been coming to feed her this year. It's been kind of a quiet fall. All the goldfinches and, the, of course, the obligatory titmice and the chickadees and nuthatches and... The, downy woodpeckers they all look fine it's the first bird that i even saw a uh, hint of an eye problem it was the other day with the, the male cardinal which is pretty unusual so and you can see she's been here i've been talking for a way long time here she's been eating solid for uh, you know 10 minutes now so she's got a good appetite you gotta realize this is what i'm shooting to just to give you an idea what you can do with a camera is I'm actually shooting through a wood uh, blind and when you zoom in you can actually shoot between the slots actually a blind and a window and uh, of course when she perks up you can see she can see out of it okay so she's perked up and looking around the right eye looks pretty good <laughs> 